Yeah. That, that's like the number one thing you could do to have a lot of success with a new platform is go back in time yeah. 14 years. <laughs> so the, the thing you have to kind of think about is what is the, like, what's the totally new thing that uh, 10 years from now would seem obvious. I mean, some people saying Clubhouse is that it, there's been a lot of stuff like Clubhouse before, yeah. but it it hit the right kind of thing. Uh, similar to Tesla, actually, what Clubhouse did is it got a lot of re- relatively famous people on there quickly, yeah. and um, and then the the other effect is like it's invite only, so like oh, all the smart like famous people are on there. I wonder what's it's the FOMO like fear that you're missing something really profound or exciting happening there. So those social effects. And then once you actually show up, I'm a huge fan of this. It's the JavaScript model is like Clubhouse is so dumb, like so simple in its interface. Like you literally can't do anything except mute, unmute. There's a mute button yeah. and there's a leave quietly button yeah. and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of, I love single use technology that, yeah. that, that, sense yeah there's no like there's no it's yeah. just like trivial and uh you know twitter kind of started like that facebook started like that yeah but they've evolved quickly to add all these features and so on and you know i do hope clubhouse stays that way yeah it'd be interesting or or, there, or there's alternatives i mean I, get, I mean even with clubhouse though the, the so one of the issues with a lot of these platforms i think is uh bits are cheap enough now mm-hmm. uh that we don't really need a unicorn investor model. I mean, the the investors need that model. But there's really not really an imperative of we need something that can scale to 100 million plus a year revenue. So because it's going to require this much seed and angel investment, and and you're not going to get this much seed angel investment unless you can have a potential exit this this wide because you have to be part of a portfolio that depends on one out of ten exiting here. If you don't actually need that. And you don't need to satisfy that investor model, which I think is basically the case. I mean, bits are so cheap. Everything is so cheap. You don't necessarily, so even like with Clubhouse, it's, it's, it's investor backed, right? It's this notion of like, this needs to be a major platform. Um, but the bike club doesn't necessarily need a major platform. That's where I'm interested. I mean, I don't know. I, there, there's so much money. That's the only problem that bets against me is that you can concentrate a lot of capital if you do these things right. Yeah. I mean, so Facebook was like a, a fantastic capital concentration machine. It's crazy how much, where it even found that capital in the world that it could concentrate and ossify in the stock price that a very small number of people have you know, access to, right? That's that's incredibly powerful. So when there when there is a possibility to, to, to consolidate and gather a huge amount of capital, that's a huge imperative that's very hard for the bike club to go up against, so. But there's a lot of money in the bike club if you see what the Wall Street uh, bets yeah. When, that, when a bunch of people get together, I yeah. mean, it doesn't have to be a bike. It could be a bunch of different bike clubs just kind of team up yeah. uh, to overtake. That's what we're doing now. Yeah. yeah. Or we're going to repurpose off the shelf stuff. Yes. That's not, that you were going to, yeah, we're going to repurpose whatever it was for office productivity or something. And right. like the, the clubs using Slack just to build out these, you know. Yeah. 